Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Following a critically acclaimed sold-out run off Broadway, the new musical The Band's Visit has come to Broadway, and we're here on opening night to celebrate with the company. Welcome back to Broadway, Tony, with this beautiful show. Tell me what you've enjoyed the most about working on this show. This is such a special musical. Well, that's easy. I mean, I'm working with this group of young people. At this point, everyone younger than me. These people are so, these kids, they're so amazingly talented. The musicians, the, the actors, the actors slash musicians, uh, this whole crew, it, it's just been a, phenomenal. I've been inspired every day and and working across from Katrina Lane it's just it, it's just it's just a, such a joy welcome back to Broadway in such a gorgeous gorgeous show it is opening night how do you feel I feel great I feel great to have brought this show this far with this group of people that feels like family and to have us all come here it's, it feels, uh, feels good it's good What's, what's been the biggest pinch me moment for you, like during this run? Um, pretty much every day, uh, and it doesn't happen as much now, but almost every day, where I'm like singing at Tony Shalhoub, and I tell myself, "You're singing at Tony Shalhoub right now," and that's like, yeah. This is such a beautiful hypnotic musical. The whole feel you have put into this. Did you have that early on, or did that come later on in the process? Well. We are all standing on the shoulders of Iran Kolaran, the guy who made the film, and that is the that is the that's not false praise. Is he made this absolutely beautiful, hypnotic, delicate film? And you say like anything we would do that would be a vulgar version of that felt really made us feel ashamed. So we tried very hard to just kind of follow that, and it couldn't be exactly the same. It's a different medium and it's a different form. Uh, but we were trying to take our lead from that, yeah, and, and it was definitely something that I, I uh, it was, I was really attracted to uh, t taking, th that how, how patient he was and wanted to try to be as patient with the audience as Iran was with the film. It's Broadway opening tonight. I mean, it is. How exciting was today for you? It was, it was surreal. You know, I've been coming to the building every day for a month or so, so you sort of get used to it. You're just coming to work. But it really hit me yesterday, my, my family came to town, and when I brought my parents by the theater just to show them the marquee in front, it, I, it, was, incre it was hard to put into words. And then tonight arriving and sitting in the, waiting for the, I don't know, it, 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 there's no way to be cynical or jaded about it. It's just, it was, it was wonderful. It's like being in this incredible dream, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it is opening night, the band's visit on Broadway. How do you feel? I feel ecstatic. That was my first time ever getting to run onto the stage at the end as like part of the creative team. So that was a, it was a big boy dream realized, yeah. Okay, so when you took your bow tonight on Broadway, I mean, what was going through your mind? That I was bowing with David Yazbek and David Cromer and Ida Marmos and I think they're geniuses and that I was a, that I was asked to be a part of a creative team that I think the world of and respect so much and their brains are so intuitive and sensitive and um, important right now I'm, I'm really ecstatic to be a, a surrounded and around and a, a part of something that feels uh, very now you know we all fell in love with this show down at the Atlantic and no one knew if there was going to be another yeah. Stop for it. And now you're on Broadway with this beautiful musical, what that means to you. Uh, it was uh, something we slowly realized. We slowly realized we had something special as we did it during previews at the Atlantic because the audience response was ever so slightly better every night. And by the end of, by the time we opened, we kind of knew, wow, this must be really special. Um, so I think we were all pretty hopeful that we'd be able to do it again. And also, we opened when the election, like right, I think it was right after the election, which made a lot of people very sad. And I think this play is filled with kindness, which are, I think people are being told is in short supply, but I don't actually think that's true. It is opening night. The opening night. How does it feel? It feels great. It's my Broadway debut. This only took me years. I was waiting for you to say that. I mean, I knew it was your debut, but I like when someone says, it's my Broadway debut. What was today like for you leading up to tonight? Today was really exciting. There's a lot of noise around it being the opening day and my Broadway debut. So I did everything normal. 
as I could. I walked my dog, I took my kids to school, I napped, and I, I, I kept everything as calm as I could, filtered out the noise, and now I want, you know. What a beautiful role. All these roles are so beautifully written, and they're so human and just so natural, right? Talk about your role. Well, I have the good fortune playing telephone guy, so I'm wearing my little, my little telephone pin up here. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I love this guy. What I think about my characters, I'm kind of a metaphor for what everybody is going through in this piece, which is kind of waiting for an answer, waiting with an outstretched arm for some kind of human connection at a fundamental level. And I get a very cathartic uh, journey in this show. And it's quiet and understated and beautiful in a way that I've never quite experienced before on stage. And I'm, I'm just thrilled to get to do it, really. And then there's that gorgeous song that David Yazbek wrote for you. I think I get to sing maybe the most beautiful song on Broadway right now, I dare I say. It's just, it's so moving. I, I, I'm, I'm very blessed. Welcome to Broadway, my friend. How does it feel? Ah, that's how I, I, oh man, I'm so happy. I, it's, it, it's settling in, but now, now I'm on Broadway. Now I, I, uh, <laughs> What was today like for you? Today was really emotional. Uh, I, I, I tried to sort of stay calm. I meditated in my dressing room and then I started crying for like 15 minutes because this is this is my dream and, and my parents are in the audience. They flew out from, from California. I'm a kid who's, who's Middle Eastern and felt like this might never be a reality for me because stories weren't being told for my culture. And here I am at the Barrymore being able to be on stage with, I, I'm speechless really. I love this, same colors almost, right? Thank you, and it's actually the same designer, Giovanni. It's a Middle Eastern designer that we decided to get together. It's true. Yeah. Well, you both look gorgeous. What's it been like working on this beautiful show? It's been absolutely incredible. The team is wonderful. Um, they let us explore anything we want in rehearsals, and we're just so excited to bring this piece to Broadway. Yeah. It's and what great, great roles you get to play. Such great roles. We get to play cousins. Yes, we're cousins. Yep. And we love that. We yes. share a dressing room, yes. and we're together all the time. <laughs> if you could sum up the best part of the experience of working on this, what's it been for you two? I think it's been that it's uh, the first time I get to play my own ethnicity on Broadway. I'm Israeli, and I get to speak Hebrew on a Broadway stage, which is really special for me. So that's been one of the best moments of this experience. Yeah, absolutely. And I love playing a good old comedic role, and uh, this is my favorite one yet. You were at the Atlantic, you critically acclaimed, sold out, you probably had no idea, then all of a sudden you're on Broadway now with the show. Can you pinch me? <laughs> What's been the biggest pinch me moment for you for this whole experience? You know, it was just starting off last year for the, the process for the off-Broadway, auditioning, getting the role, and then joining this amazing team of of, of, of the creative team and the actors and then going from there on I mean it's 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 an actor's dream come true and so I'm just really honored and humbled to be here it's opening night Broadway how does it feel amazing this is my Broadway debut so that's doubly exciting but just being a part of this show in particular is is a dream it's a gift my both my parents are Israeli so for me representing my culture representing my family in a positive light because Israel is not always uh, in the news in a very uh, positive way. So I think this story is lovely to be able to, to bring these characters to life and for them to just live and not talk about politics and terrorism and, and, and it's just living and listening to this other, these other people and listening to the people around us and it's all about love. What do you enjoy the most about working on this? I enjoy kind of what the heart of the musical is, which is which is the stillness, which is the, the, the quiet between moments rather than the moments themselves. That's almost like the tension and the attraction and the, the awkwardness between people when they're just like coming up against a stranger and they can't communicate too well. How do they face each other and how do they, how do they make something happen? There? So I really like stuff like that. I like visual storytelling. I can say, welcome to Broadway. How does it feel? <laughs> feels incredible, unbelievable. <laughs> Indescribable. So excited. But what was today like for you? I mean, this is a big deal. This is such a gorgeous musical. I mean, it's so different. It's hypnotic. It's mysterious. It's human. There's so many wonderful things that you all do in this show. It's really unique, isn't it? Yeah, well, today was really bigger than any dream I've ever had because I always dreamed this is my first original cast, and I've always dreamed of doing that, but never did I think 
growing up uh, Israeli that I would be speaking my language and portraying my actual culture on a Broadway stage. It's it's surreal and, and it feels important to me and I feel like I've never been more authentically myself in a show. Yeah, I too always dreamed of uh, doing a Broadway musical from the time I was very, very young. And this isn't just any Broadway musical, it seems to really be speaking to people. And it's just wonderful to be with such an incredible group of people. So it, it's just indescribable. What beautiful roles you get to play. They're so beautifully written. Yeah, um, Poppy is, is yeah. I'm basically playing myself in middle school. You know, uh, uh, he's, he's, I mean, all of these parts really, it's just about these tiny moments of human kindness. And, and the very first thing you see is uh, a subtitle that says, the story isn't very important. And just these, these little gestures that feel so, that are ephemeral and just pass by and are so unimportant in the moment, but can change lives.